When two-thirds of the global population use social media, its effects can be very hard to escape. Average users tend to have multiple social media accounts, which can be both positive and negative. Local residents share their preferred social media apps. Probably Instagram. Probably Snapchat and Instagram. <laughs> Many believe that social media affects all aspects of life. Some may be negative. Like it puts our society in a box, essentially, and it keeps us from fulfilling our like actual our actual path of human evolution. It's like a sidestep that we've taken, and we've gone too far down it. Be a negative consequence because people won't have yeah. nearly the social skills that they would if if they had you know actually gone out and and participated in the community. People waste their entire lives around like how they're portrayed on social media. While others are positive. You can connect with family. You can find someone from long ago that you need to find. It can connect you to the world. We can get on Skype and we can call and we can talk to them down there and she can translate for us and say hi and talk to family members that I wouldn't even know about if social media or like stuff like that didn't exist. While social media has allowed people to easily keep up with friends and loved ones, many still prefer face-to-face -face interaction. In person, no doubt. <laughs> um, I like talking to people face to face though. Yeah, sometimes I think uh, things can be misconstrued via social media, what you're intending to, to come across. But uh, when you're in person, you can kind of read body language and tone and things like that. Just the uh, personal contact is, to me, is so much better. There's so much that's lost in translation when you're, you know, texting or social media. Face to face is more like genuine. When you're talking through a keyboard, you don't really get the feel of you don't know that you're talking to someone. 